Zara perfumes are underrated charms. Like, I love them so much. This might not be everybody's cup of tea. It's quite spicy, but I think it's like just on the borderline of androgynous. I don't have baccarat roots because I'm a cheapskate. Welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber welcome and thank you for joining if you're a returning subscriber welcome as well thank you for returning back to see my face my name is that sounds so good i am moya sorry and a beauty and lifestyle content creator and youtuber based in lagos nigeria so this video is highly requested um, a lot of you have been asking me to see my perfume collection so today we're going to dive in to my perfume collection I'm going to talk about my perfumes the houses the notes where I buy them from and all that good stuff so if you like to know and see keep on watching so guys straight off straight off the video I buy my perfume, I buy 90% of my perfumes from the US and the other 10% here in Nigeria. In the US, I buy from Sephora, Cosbar, Fragrance Lord, Fragrance Net, and I think Fragrance 11. Those five sites are like my go to. And in Nigeria, I buy from Viola Beauty. Um, Perfumeo NG, Dabs NG, and Lux and Oak. So I'll leave them out on the screen and also their Instagram links in the description box below. Starting off with perfumes, um, I want to start off with body mists that I own. Body mists are as important as actual perfume. They kind of set the base for how you smell. They also kind of are a lot more in quantity and way cheaper so you get a good smell a lot more quantity for way way cheaper my top three body mist right now that I have in rotation are um, the first one I want to show you is from Bat and Body Works it's the Bodwalk Taffy now this is such a whipped um, whipped fresh scent it has a bit of whipped cream and also some vanilla it just reminds me of like summer sun beach sand salt water that kind of fresh water vibes that's what i get from this i tend to wear these like day routines or routines where i have like where i'm out for like a short time so like gym like swimming like errands like church like really short um, time that i may not have close contact may or may not have close contact with people it's appropriate for brunch as well really daytime beachy flowy events i like to wear this one for and i got this directly from Be um, butt and body works i think for i don't know less than 15 dollars if i remember correctly they always have sales so just be on the lookout and you catch a sale the second one i have in my body mist rotation is from Bat and body works as well and it's cherry blossom this is a more pronounced scent compared to the bodywork taffy it has watermelon plum cherry blossom and sandalwood so there's a bit of a warmth grounding to it i tend to wear this for when i have like longer hours of work date nights weddings where i know that i need to smell good for a long time like for a very long time i'll pick up this one and it's a really fruity cherry scent so that's like the notes that you get first absolutely love it it's one of their best sellers all round so yeah again i got this directly from bath and body works this one because it's like their best seller it really goes on sale so you'll most likely get it for the full price the third um body mist i have in my rotation is from mix bar and Mix Bar is kind of an indie bra brand, perfume brand in the US with affordable scents. I think this is like 
less than $18. I'm not sure. I'll put the price on the screen. But you can get it at Target. And that's where I got it from. It's an amazing scent. Rose notes are so sexy, so feminine, so floral. I love rose in my perfume. So when, you know, this is glass rose, <laughs> I was like, yes, definitely. You would smell sexy, you would smell feminine, you smell floral. Really, really amazing scent and such a good starter to smelling good. Moving on to perfumes, the main reason why we are here, I'm going to start from one of the first bottles I started or I got when I started collecting perfumes and it's Guerlain Mon Guerlain, baby! <laughs> this is a perfume really dear to my heart, a perfume that made me discover my love for fragrances, a perfume that has opened much more doors of connection of friendship of partnership of collaboration in the influence world this is Golen Mongolian absolutely love it it's a um, warm vanilla scent if I say so myself it opens up with jasmine jasmine is not an overly sweet floral note and then it warms up to a warm grounded vanilla with sandalwood combination absolutely love it it's perfect for everyday feminine scents also can you know go for softer occasions like brunch and also layered with other perfumes can go for date night it is something that every female should just have in their collection because it's see how little is left that's how good or how much i love it it is so good and i got this from Cosba, I think originally it was about $135, but I got it for about $75, so it's a steal, guys. See, with perfumes, just like skincare and makeup, don't rush to buy it. Do your research, do your analysis of the notes, and then watch around from website to website. Somebody will definitely have it cheaper. I almost never buy anything makeup and skincare related full price like i almost never because there's always a sale there's like thanksgiving labor day um christmas new year valentine's mother's day there's always something so just wait around for a sale and you get a very good deal so moving on from that um i'm going to show you this deja vu from kelly which is almost an exact dupe to um the Golden Mongolian. Other than the jasmine that it has, this has a bit of um, citrusy floral scent that opens it up, but it kind it kind of dries down to the same amber warm vanilla scent like that. So I can almost say they are dupes. They just open very differently, and then quickly transition to the same thing. Um, I got this directly from Huda Beauty's website, from Kayali's website rather. Kayali is the sister perfume brand to Huda Beauty. I got this directly from them and they delivered to Nigeria via DHL. Originally, I think it was $100, but when I got it, it was on sale for $85. If you wait for the sale on Kayali, a lot of the scents you want might be sold out. And then you might try to just buy whatever is left to just compensate for delivery and shipping. But you can, you would get like a 15% sale directly from KLE. And I think they also stock at Sephora and other international retail stores. So yeah, I got this. Absolutely love it. Absolutely recommend. See, I'm halfway through. It's such a good feminine scent. Such a good scent to start with if you're just starting out. And the second one I got from KLE, it's not really my favorite, but I'm, I just saved it for the purpose of this video. It's the Elixir. Um, it kind of has vanilla as well and a bunch of other notes that I wasn't so familiar or I wasn't so sure of how it would combine together. It has patchouli, it has rose, it also has red apple. So it kind of gives me like a... Like a floral vibe, but the patchouli here, it smells like very green floral, like a grassy 
like a grassy sense that I'm not sure or I know that I'm not a fan of so I'm going to be sending this to my sister but if you're into those kind of scents you know you can definitely try it out speaking of perfumes that I love I mean I love everything here but perfume after my heart not only is it owned by a Nigerian, it is super affordable. It's 15,000 naira. That is literally about $30. Compared to everything I have here, it's actually the cheapest that I own. Or oh, one of the cheapest, actually. It's from um, these two from Burgle by Oma. Absolutely fantastic. When I say fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The first one, Passion which I can also say is a very close dupe to the Mongolian and to the white flower from Kayali. It's also an amber floral scent. It has vanilla and sandalwood um, base, but it opens with um, jasmine, rose, and pink pepper. So it's a very warm scent. While Seduction, on the other hand, opens Seduction, on the other hand, opens more sweet floral, so there's peach, there's strawberry, but it still dries down to the same vanilla amber musk. So it has like a very slight DNA to this, but it's slow, so I like. Um, I wear both interchangeably day, night, day, night, work, wherever. You can see that they are both at halfway mark. So yeah, amazing, amazing choice if you're just looking for something quick and easy to find, accessible to Nigeria, just grab and go, fantastic choice. Now moving on to another house, this is Mason, I'll put it on the screen, it's Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning, absolutely fantastic, fresh, soft scent. It's a floral, it's a floral, woody, musky scent, it has lily, Valley, it's got bit of pear, rose, musk, patchouli, orange. But the way patchouli here combines is really a light, fresh, musky scent. Think of Sunday brunch, think of white fences, garden, that kind of thought, you know, matching linen or you know, shift dresses, floral. That's the vibe. This perfume is just the vibe. So I wear this on like very soft relaxed occasions you know netflix and chill um just vibes just soft vibes the soft scent so just soft vibes i wouldn't say it's too sexy but it's just soft that's all i have to say it's a soft perfume and it does last a long time but it's just soft it's like soft. yeah so moving on from soft i'm going to bring this spicy and this is one of the three that I own from Mancera. It's the red tobacco. I got this here in Nigeria, I think it's the beginning of the year, and I'm like less than halfway through as well. This is arguably one of my most complimented perfumes ever. She's spicy, she's choking, she's hot. She's coming in hot, basically. It has a bit of oud, incense, nutmeg, um, tobacco, vanilla, leather, everything muscular, dark, spicy. This might not be everybody's cup of tea. It's quite spicy, but I think it's like just on the borderline of androgynous. So both female and male, every gender can wear it. Um, you can combine it with softer floral perfumes to make it really soft. And you can intensify it with like coffee or leather perfumes to make it like masculine and darker but I like her she's a compliment she's a crowd pleaser she's a compliment getter she goes after what she wants it's a good one still speaking on the house of Mancera I have another one called um, Cedrite Bows now this one I have friends that have this one that aren't really into it as well this is a very mature perfume i think of this as like a late 30s early 40s scent not not the age that i'm at now it has a bit of leather it's got a bit of vanilla it's got patchouli lemon blackcurrant so it's like very the notes are blended together it's very oriental citrusy 
but it's very mature. I barely reach for this, but when I do, I like to sweeten it up with like lots of vanilla and rose to make it smell good. No, to make it smell more floral, younger, sexy. But it's really macho if you're into very macho scents, very aromatic scents. You can try her. Um, still speaking on the house of Mantera. Why do I keep saying house of Mantera? It's called Mantera perfumes rather. The third and the last one from this house is Rosa Oud and Musk. Just like the name implies, it's got a lot of rose and musk and um, saffron and sandalwood and oud and jasmine it's right up my alley like if i was going to create a perfume it would smell something like this with a little bit less of the oud but the jasmine the rose the musk is very me it's very feminine very sexy very deep gosh See, why I like this house is their perfumes last the whole day. Like from morning to close of day till midnight, you are still smelling. And when I mean it's still smelling good, it's just not smelling on your clothes or the pulse points. People would smell it off you. So it's such a good um, brand in terms of longevity, in terms of projection. Mancera has got some, some big guns, really. Really, in my collection, they're one of the best smelling bottles ever. Um, moving on to smelling good and getting compliments, I'm gonna I raise you, I raise you, good girl, because baby, this is another one that is like an all rounder, it has a little bit of every note, a little bit of citrus, vanilla, cocoa bean, tonka bean. She's just picking notes here and there. It's very sexy, confident, powerful. I can wear this on a daily, but I work for myself. So, yeah, I decide what I can wear. <laughs> but if you don't, and you have people that complain about scents around you, maybe not wear good girl to work. Maybe keep it for date nights. But I can wear it anywhere. It has, also has like floral notes, jasmine, tuberose, citrus, rose, lemon. Guys, I said this perfume is like an all-rounder. So you don't really smell a distinct smell, you just smell good. Like you can't really say, oh, you smell like rose, oh, you smell like jasmine. No, baby, you smell good because it has everything in it. And this was a gift actually. I had one bottle which I ran out of and it was replaced by someone special. So yeah, shout out to Carolina for this good girl. Um, let's quickly move on to celebrity perfumes. I have two. First one I'll be talking about is one of the most popular celebrity perfumes because people said it's a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge, which I highly doubt. In my opinion, I don't have Baccarat Rouge because I'm a cheap skate and I kind of capped myself at $120 for a bottle. Baccarat is around $180 or $190. I can't just spend that money yet. But Ariana's Cloud, I hear it's a dupe, but this perfume, the coconut hair, is a bit much. I must warn you. I don't like coconuts or overly citrusy perfumes. Coconut hair is so much that I barely use it. Like, except I'm intentionally going to the beach or something, it's not my go-to. But it has a bit of whipped cream, vanilla, there's a bit of soft edibleness to it. But I don't think this is what Baccarat Rouge smells like because I don't think a lot of people like coconut in their fragrance. I could be wrong, but this is just like coconut, vanilla, whipped cream. Yeah. Another celebrity, I think celebrities should just leave perfumes for the people that actually no perfumes because <laughs> the two that I own I'm not really uh, another perfume I have is Fenty now when I bought this perfume I had like very high expectations because everybody was like Rihanna smells like heaven she smells like Jesus she smells like clouds and gold and the money and dollars 
guys you can barely get any projection from these like aside except to sniff out the pause point where you sprayed and you drown yourself in like half the bottle but it's a really soft musky scent just think of baby powder in a bottle with a bit of floral notes <laughs> that explains this but i'm not impressed with the longevity or the projection of this so you know what let's just keep moving moving on um i want to talk about a brand that i discovered on target i have their um body mist and it's a mix bar i have two from them so i have vanilla bourbon which smells expensive rich working class you know go get her imagine the smell of bourbon mixed with vanilla edible guys this smells like booked and busy catching flies just think of an airport lounge or bar you know how the smell rich that's the scent and the other one i have is tangerine squeeze which is like a very floral citrusy scent it has a bit of tangerine i can smell a little bit of floral in it maybe rose or jasmine and then it's just a really good day scent and notice that all my scents here are kind of heavy which means <laughs> this is a lighter one absolutely love it totally recommend so last but not the least i want to talk about zara perfumes zara perfumes are underrated champs like i love them so much and i have four i got them in like twin sets so the first set I have is Black Amber and Red Vanilla. They are such good scents, layered together, one individually or layered with other high-end perfumes. They perform well together. I am such a Vanilla Amber lover, so you can tell. Um, I wear these days I have like one or two hours of errands in the gym, like little, little days of work not long stretch or i layer it and i absolutely love it now the other two i got are a bit more citrus florally this one is pink flamme and this is tuberose so they are very citrus floral scents absolutely love them smell good smell sweet zara perfumes are literally if you guys <laughs> smell good oh my god yeah the dark perfumes are that shit yeah so yes we've come to the end we've come to the end of the video i hope you had a good time i hope you've taken down notes on which you're going to buy next also you can leave me recommendations of it to try i'm kind of starting to build my collection for the end of the year slash next year definitely i'll put up another perfume video real soon but yeah just comment down which you've tried which you love to try which one i should try you know let's get chatty about perfumes i can talk about perfumes all day long um if you have any questions you can also leave them down in the comment below i would answer your questions yes guys so we've come to the end of the video yeah i think it's a wrap i'll see you in my next video